You were mayor? <laughs> this is the most bizarre... Uh, I mean, you've got it wrong, right? Y you're winding me up. Come on. No, David. I wouldn't have believed it either until I saw them together. But he's a kid. I'm not. Yeah, you are. You're barely 16. Do I ever think this was? It, it was nothing. Just... Just a crush. You're not even on her radar, mate. Dad. God knows what she's going to think when she finds out. You have crossed the line, mate. <laughs> I was with her this morning. We've been staying at a hotel. <laughs> In your imagination, maybe you need to stop. The hardest part of all this was lying to you. Oh, please. <laughs> and leave. <laughs> Letting her think she was my proper girlfriend. I hated using her, but I had to. What are you doing, David? Looking for a camera <laughs> somewhere. There's got to be a hidden camera. This is one of them pranks, isn't it, that you're going to put online? I love me. She loves me. Uh, now you are embarrassing yourself. It's been going on for months. For months? <laughs> this, is, this is insane. You need to red sign out, mate. It's real. About the only thing that is. I saw them kissing outside the club. That's how I found out. The only reason he's back is for cash and her passport. Her passport? Me and May are leaving. Do you really hate me that much? Or was it just jealousy? Why would you pick my girlfriend? I didn't pick her. It just happened. We tried to fight it. Loads. She tried to forget about us and just be happy with you, but she couldn't. Us. A mature, sophisticated adult woman and some money, spoilt little brat who droops around the house whinging about his GCSEs. At least I'm not a shopkeeper. Do you know how boring she thought that was? So it was better for a roof over your head. All those times you were swanning around with your top off, I thought you were doing that innocently, but you were doing it for her benefit, were you? And you act like you're God's gift, but you're not. All those times you made her have sex, I was cringing. <sighs> made her? Oh, Jacob, you don't have a clue about women, about anything. You were just a spoilt little child. And poor Liv, you abused her trust. Used her as some sort of smoke screen. That sweet girl who thought the world of you just got tangled up in your disgusting lies. I said I feel bad for that. Then why did you do it? Hey, 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 off why are you getting me? Get me it's not me! You can't blame him, all right? It's me who she groomed him! She is a paedophile! She's not! You don't even know what you're talking about! Yeah, I do. All right, I know her more than you. She admitted everything to me! Was that when you were smashing her head in her before? What? They got Maya in the car, chased her through the woods. Then Layla hits her with a rock until she's unconscious. It wasn't, it wasn't. It wasn't like that, David, I promise. She actually reckoned she'd murdered her. Since then, uh, Priya and Tracy have been thinking there's a body and not one of them went to the police. And you think May is bad? David, I was going to tell you, I promise. Oh, so I just needed to speak to Jacob first, that's all. When did this happen? When? It was the night Jacob was supposed to go to Portugal, the night we all went to the club and you kissed <laughs> Tracy. I'm sorry. You've known since then. Oh. All this time, and you never said anything. David, I'm sorry. All this time, I have been worrying about Maya, and I should have been focused on my dad. <laughs> 